A very good morning everyone. So today we are going to learn Microsoft Excel's one of the most interesting topic data validation. Data validation is something in which we understand we know how we are able to validate the data. It is the process of working on correct and useful data means when we have entered some data we can validate it whether it is correct or useful or not. It uses checks often called validation rules and that checks for correctness, meaningfulness and security of data which is the input to the system. Means when we input some data to the system, to the excel file, to the particular form then it checks for the correctness, it checks for the meaningfulness and it also checks for the security. Further, data validation is used to restrict the cell entries within the specified range. Whenever we have some data entered in Microsoft Excel tables, so within a specified range it restricts the cells for entry. It is the process of ensuring that a program operates on correct and useful data not on wrong cell entries. How we perform it? For that we need to do certain steps. What are the steps? We need to select the range, then we need to go to data tab, we look for data validation option. In the data validation dialog box we need to perform some settings and then we need to perform things like uh, selecting the limits minimum and maximum then the other things. So let's uh, get it done with the practical. So in Microsoft Excel as you can see I have data in front of me and we need to select the range so I am selecting the values of English, Hindi and Maths marks for roll number 1 to 10 and in the data tab we have to go towards data validation. When I click on data validation I will find the criteria validation criteria and there I am choosing the whole number why because the number on which I have to work upon they all are complete numbers whole numbers in the whole number I can further choose whether I look for between equal to not equal to greater than or less than so I prefer between so between suppose I write here say 50 to 60 if the range is 50 to 60 then what I want that I have to decide. So if you want to give any input message in these cells then you can write the message over here otherwise we can directly switch to error. But I will discuss both of them. Suppose here in the input message I write data input this is the title and the message is kindly put the values between 1 and 100 means beyond these limit we cannot enter the data this is related to input and this is just a message not an error and what is an error error will come for these, these things 50 and 60 if I want to validate. So what I want if the value is between 50 and 60 then it will be displaying a kind of error what kind of error stop warning or information if it is an information then it will this is the heading you can simply write error or you can write say wrong input fine and the message will be kindly enter the values between 50 and 60 right and then we need to click on ok so first of all you can see the input message is coming this way data input kindly put the values between 1 and 100 and as we can see wherever I am moving my cursor this message is appearing because 
I have selected the range so it will be coming there but as I will move out of the range there is no message why because I selected only this area so within this area this message will come outside this there is no such message another thing the value is between 1 and 100 right now but I have put the condition for 50 and 60 but right now the values are more than that because they were already entered in case I delete these values and now if I put any value suppose 90 so definitely it will be showing wrong input and I need to provide the value between 50 and 60 so as it is an information I do ok so there is no harm right but if for the same range I go to data validation once again and this time instead of information I take it as warning and I do ok then what will happen if I enter suppose 98 then this time it is coming in the form of warning <coughs> we have to say yes or no if I would say yes then it is considered and suppose if I enter another value say 92 and if I say no that means I'll have to enter the value once again it is also again beyond limit so I need to say no and if I give 56 it is considerable because the range I have specified is 50 and 60 actually the validation rules here in the beginning I put 50 and 60 but if I put here 1 and I put here 100 then actually it is according to corresponding this input as well so in this case if I give suppose 900 then error will come but again I need to specify the things more clearly in the form of error if I don't want to accept the values so in the error alert this time I will choose stop and then finally if you give values less than 1 say minus 98 so it is not going to accept you have to retry and until unless you don't give the right value it will not accept if I give suppose 987 there is no chance if you do cancel the cell is blank if you write retry you will have to put the value again so ultimately this is the best condition which never allow you to enter wrong input you cannot input any negative value you have to put the right value but the range is between 1 and 100 so once again I recall you the things select the range go to data validation whatever input you feel is expected from you you need to specify the range number one number two input message if you want to guide the user you need to specify the message that it should come in the form of input at that time and error alert you have to choose whether you want to use stop you want to give warning or you want to give information so that's all about the topic thank you so much and you need to practice all these things only then you will be finally able to achieve the target which you have kept in front of you that is the understanding microsoft excel features as well as possible thank you so much